I am very appalled and shocked by the opposition speakers. Not once did they give a source for any of their claims. Secondly, did they even read the motion? The battle started on May 15th. It featured students from Forms 3 and 4. 90 secondary school students from 23 schools across Trinidad have fearlessly faced their opponents in preliminaries, quarterfinals, and semifinals of this energy sustainability debate competition. Four schools made it to the finals last Friday. 1.2 million people. I don't think we are really going to cause some large shift in the global economics in t just by our people purchasing wind or solar turbines or panels, right? Naparima College was beaten into fourth place while Swaha Hindu College finished third. And nowadays in Trinidad and Tobago, people, they spend all their money. They get their tertiary educations. People get their degrees and they do not know if they'll be able to have a job. When we diversify the power sector, we'll be ensuring these people that they will have a job. The young ladies from Holy Faith Con Vancouver took home the prize for second spot. Note well, ladies and gentlemen, in keeping within the parameters of the debate motion, we, the proposition, are not saying that Tran Tobago will achieve net zero by 2050, but that we could. And taking home the top prize with each team member winning a $5,000 voucher from Caribbean Airlines, the young men from Presentation College Shagornas. They have talked about stakeholders will fund us, but they are not funding us now. But now is the time frame, 27 years, is what we have to reach net zero. We are not denying that we can reach net zero, but we are saying that we will not reach net zero by 2050. The competition was hosted by the National Energy Corporation. By providing comprehensive education on climate change and clean energy, we empower our young minds to become agents of change. Anselm Gibbs, TV6 News.